So Trisha Paytas finally made an apology video to Nikocado Avocado and it was in the form of a mukbang. So in this video we're going to be talking about apologies. We're going to be talking about forgiveness and should Nikocado Avocado forgive Trisha Paytas and what about the rest of the community forgiving her? Let's discuss. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So even though I'm using Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado as an example, this is for all of us, all right? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And very, very exciting news. So my brand new book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel culture the audiobook is dropping today so real quick exciting announcement go to my website www.therewiredsoul.com if you get any of my books between today and end of day Sunday you get the audiobook for free all right so get any book whether it's rewire your anger rewire your anxiety my book hope about overcoming depression anxiety and addiction or my book caught in the crossfire which is about kind of how to have an intervention for a loved one while also keeping yourself sane all right so make sure you visit my website therewiredsoul.com all right so anyways yeah i uh I'm in a different location. <laughs> but yeah, I got some messages that Trisha Paytas finally apologized to Nikocado Avocado. And yeah, the first thing, the first thing let's talk about real quick. Okay, I respect the hell out of people who make mukbang videos. I respect all of you who love you some mukbang videos, but personally, I do not get it. I don't get it. I it was it was torture for me, but it's just like one of those things. Like we, different strokes for different folks, baby. But if that's something that you like, I actually did an interview with my buddy, uh, Carly Steele, um, a few months ago. But anyway, she was talking to me about why she likes, likes mukbangs and stuff. It's just, I personally can't deal with it. So something I was noticing in the comments, first off, is that I'm not the only one who doesn't really like mukbang videos. The second thing is, there were some people saying that this wasn't sincere because it was, in this like weird kind of mukbang format. And something I'm gonna be talking about in this video about, you know, forgiveness and apologies and things like that. I'm going to give Trisha Paytas the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe this is just something like, that's like respectful in the mukbang community, right? You know how there's like different cultures and they do things a different way. So maybe this was just like a nod to Nikocado Avocado since he's a mukbang YouTuber and she made her apology video while she was chowing down on some Buffalo Wild Wings and then fettuccine. Was that from another place? But anyways, <clears throat> here's the thing. So those of you who have not read my book, Cancelled yet, you need to, especially because I got that deal going on. Something about cancelled culture is a refusal to forgive people all right we refuse to forgive people and this like this is something I learned so long ago is that forgiveness isn't for like the other person it's for us right like so many of us don't want to forgive because we feel like it's letting the other person off the hook it's really letting ourselves off the hook so to catch you guys up to speed real quick for those of you who don't know how this went down and sorry this is a little disorganized I'm in a new setting just kind of get my groove but anyways Years ago, Nick Akato Avocado, he made a video covering Trisha Paytas' song, um, what was it called, Warrior? And yeah, she reached out to him and wanted to collab, and then she kind of ghosted him, okay? And mm, a few months ago, I think it was in May, Nick Akato made a video about, you know, this whole situation, how he was hurt and upset, and Trisha Paytas refused to apologize. Like, this, this was a huge deal. So I guess the first thing that we want to talk, we, we need to talk about is like, First off, it's empathy. Like, I can relate to Trisha Paytas. Like, I can relate, and I know so many of you can too. So when it comes to cancel culture and getting rid of cancel culture and this mob mentality, it's like putting yourself in somebody else's shoes for like just a second, right? Like, just even a minute. Like, so many of us, 
me and you, we've been in that dark place where we refuse to apologize, right? We refuse to. So Trisha Paytas, what she talks about is right around that time, she had a lot going on, all right? And she talks about how Jason stopped talking to her. She talks about how the thing happened with um, Ethan from H3H3 Productions, and then Nick Accato made his video. And you know, at that point, like if you just try to put yourself into the headspace of Trisha Paytas for a minute, like, like even like she said, it's not an excuse use, but it's a reason, all right? And I think we need to do a better job understanding the difference between an excuse and a reason, right? Like for example, my drug addiction that I overcame seven years ago, like a, there were a lot of factors. There was my genetics. There was, you know, the fact that I grew up in an alcoholic household. There were so many things. Those aren't excuses. I had to take responsible for, responsibility for my recovery, but those were reasons. Those were contributing factors to my addiction. So Trisha Paytas had a lot of contributing factors where her head was as to why she did want to apologize to Nick Akato Avocado. And when this happens, it's typically because our pride, our ego, right, our anger, it gets in the way and we say, no, no, I refuse to. And like, this is how I lived my life for a very, very long time. Like back in my active addiction and even just growing up, like I would refuse to apologize to people. Like I refuse, like they wronged me, they deserved it, I was right, they were wrong, and I would just end friendships. I had such terrible black and white thinking, it would blow your mind. There were people who I would just completely cut out of my life and I would refuse to apologize to them, even though in my head, I knew that I wronged them. I knew that I should apologize, but the way our ego works, it tries to justify the situation. It tries to make us believe that the other person hurt us more so we don't need to apologize. And again, remember you guys, like apologies, forgiveness, it's for us. All right, it's not for them. Like today, and this is something I learned as a part of the program I work, which is when I am wrong, I promptly admit it, okay? Because here's the thing, and I, I wish the same for all of you watching this. At the end of the day, when I lay my head down to go to sleep, my ginormous noggin, all right? Like, I want to go to bed with a clear conscience, okay? I cannot afford to let my ego get out of control and refuse to apologize when I mess up, okay? And part of it, too, is, like, I saw some people picking apart Trisha Paytas' apology, which is, what cancel culture and mob and the hate mob does, right? Like when somebody apologizes, like they dissect it. And they were saying, you know, how she said like, if I made you feel that way, right? But like, that's the most you can do. Like, here's the thing, we have no control over how somebody else feels, all right? Like, yeah, there's things we can do to not be a dick, but there are certain things that might upset you and get on your nerves that don't upset me or get on my nerves. You know what I mean? For example, let's say I was having dinner with a muckbanger. Let's say I was having dinner with Trisha Paytas and she was chewing with her mouth open and making all these noises, right? That would frustrate me, but she also has thousands of people who love that she does that. So it's the way I feel like so much of what we feel is just the way our brain processes things. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's, it's doing anybody any favors when we say like, oh, oh, they said, if I made you feel that way, that's not a proper apology. Like, Stop, just just stop it. So the next thing is, is how long Trisha Paytas waited to apologize. And she said something in there, I forgot her exact quote, but it's like kind of like this better late than never. You know what I mean? And I think that's good. And I think that, you know, hopefully, and this is just me being an optimist, it's showing some growth in Trisha Paytas, like apologizing for something later. You know what I mean? Like. As, as much, you know, even though Trisha Paytas and I have some history, I don't think she's a bad person. I, I think she screws up just like the rest of us. You know what I mean? And it took her a couple months to really process that what she did to Nick was wrong, even if she didn't feel like it because she had a lot of justifications and rationalizations for why she did what she did. Like, it took some time for her ego to calm down and her to realize like, oh wow, I did hurt somebody and I don't like hurting people. Like sometimes we need to apologize even if we don't feel that we were wrong. You know what I mean? We need to apologize because a lot of us don't mean to hurt somebody's feelings 
but we did. So sometimes it's just like do the right thing and apologize, you know? So the last thing I wanna talk about is should Nikocado Avocado forgive her? Should the community forgive her? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, you guys, like this whole thing, like with where we're at in cancel culture and online hate mobs, like really look at it. Look, is the punishment proportionate to the crime? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, was she kind of being a dick for a while? Yeah, absolutely. But does she deserve forgiveness? Of course she does. Of course she does. Everybody does. I believe that like just about everybody deserves forgiveness and again it's for us it's not for them like nikocado avocado has been holding on to this for years so in my opinion in my humble opinion it, my suggestion to him would be it would be in his best interest if he accepted that apology all right when we try to hold this stuff over someone's head and say no you need to apologize this way or that way we hold on to resentment it hurts us more than it hurts anybody else trisha paytas now has freedom because she apologized now it's up to nick to find that same freedom and it's up to all of you in the community as well the last thing i'll say is I don't know, but I'd be interested to know if Trisha Paytas has reached out to Nick privately because one of the tricky parts about being an influencer and making your apologies is that if you don't do it publicly, did it really happen? You know what I mean? So it's kind of one of those those tricky situations. So I would just be interested to know if she's DM'd him or talked to him or anything like that or if this video was just that's it, you know? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Let me know if you hold on to resentments. Is it hard for you to forgive people? Is it hard for you to apologize? All right, like the last thing I wanna say is something I realized a long time ago, like who am I to not forgive people but I expect to be forgiven? And I want you to think about that. All right, but anyways, don't forget, Check out my website, www.therewiredsoul.com. The audiobook for Cancelled is dropping today. You get any other book, you get the audiobook for free, or you can get the audiobook by itself. It'll be 10 bucks. All right, but that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give you the thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And thank you to everybody who has bought Cancelled already or read it or left a review. You are all beautiful and amazing. I'll see you next time.